Uh, I send you greetings from Kamengo. My name is Henry Subichiimba, a student of Makele University doing a Bachelor of Science in uh, Mechanical Engineering at the Engineering School. Um, this is Kamengo, where everything started from. Uh, this is our home place, uh, where we grew up from. Um, I moved from here in 2019 uh, after finishing my high school uh, in a, a, a school nearby, St. Bruno Selunkuma Secondary School, Goli. Um, then uh, I got a scholarship to move and further my studies uh, in Makele University. But that was Bachelor of Science uh, in, with uh, uh, education, and that was economics and uh, mathematics. So when I, 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 it came time to move from uh, Kamengo here to go to Makere University, uh, I had a limited choice of what I could go with and what I could uh, use as me when I was leaving. So that, that, that's when the idea of using a metal suitcase came in. So I, 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 I picked it up with uh, my, what is they call it, a famous Sophia bag, then uh, I moved. So for me, in the beginning, I didn't think it was a strange idea to take a metal suitcase to high institution, uh, but then people found it strange after someone posted a pic of me arriving at what we call University Hall, my hall of attachment, where the, the, the picture became viral and uh, it happened that it became famous. So everyone wanted to know who was behind the, the famous picture. So. In a few months, in a few weeks, everything was open in such a way that in a few days I arrived in on a Saturday, but then in that same week I arrived in uh, the Vice Chancellor's office due to the request of people on social media who wanted to know what was happening with the person who was holding a metal suitcase. So that's when everything started happening, that's when I arrived on social media then i arrived on media outlets so it started with ntv where i, I appeared on their news and uh, that story was covered by olivia com gisha so and people came up so it started with um, when everything started i appeared uh, on uh, the facebook page of the vice chancellor of Macquarie university where People picked up from that, so the request came from uh, the BBC journalist Alan Kasuja. So it interested a lot of people. So I got in touch with uh, people like Cedric Babu, people like Luther Ine, who came out to give a hand and know what was really happening and to support me. So in that whole thing, I got a scholarship to to change my course. You know. When I arrived at Macquarie University, I was on government sponsorship, but the course wasn't really good for me. I, I, I didn't have love for it. So I, I had a leak. Someone contacted me from Jawada Consult, and that was um, the CEO, Jawada Consult, Mr. Aita Joel, who is an engineer. So when I hinted about wanting to study engineering, he came up to sponsor me in the engineering school and he has been sponsoring me ever since I joined Makai University. So that actually means that I didn't even attend school in the education side. So when I arrived, I started the orientation in the, the, in the side of education, but at the end of it all, I ended up in the engineering school where I'm, I'm now offering Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. So. In my journey, a lot of people came up to give support to me and um, everyone came up in their capacity. Those who could afford what they could came up, others gave hard cash and others gave emotional support, others give advice, others give what they have. So in that whole situation in 2019, I received a call from Blavo Shoes and uh, they, they were offering shoes for four years for me and for my other siblings so i had to they, they were reaching out to me so that's what they could afford to support me for to from that angle so i had to go and meet up with them so 
they have been giving me shoes ever since I joined university with my other siblings and uh, later because their community, they, their charity organization had moved and they had gotten a lot of kids so they had to switch from Blavo shoes to Blavo shoes community support where now they could use the organization Blavo shoes community support to reach out to a number of kids involving I, my siblings and other kids around the country. So we grew up in a situation where we, we don't have a lot, we don't have much, so we grew up in a situation where everything was challenging for us. So whatever someone comes up to offer, it's always beneficial to us because it pushes us a step further to where we have been. So my siblings, when Blavo Shoes stepped in, so he came up to offer shoes for them for their school time and then he came up to offer me shoes for my university time because for me I was at the end of my academic life so I was joining the university. So for me it's four years and for them it's more than four years because it's covering their entire school time. Most of them are still in, two of them are still in primary and one is soon joining campus. So that's how we benefit. For them, it was a challenging situation because I remember the shoe, the shoe I had when I was joining campus was a shoe I was using in high school, but I had no choice. For me, I just take it as easy as that. Whatever I have is what I go with. So that's what everything happened. And I can now put on some nice shoes and uh, I can feel comfortable from where I moved from.